Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video I'm going to talk about the difference between partition walls and low bearing walls. This is a simple plan drawing of a house. As you can see, there's only three rooms in this house. So what can a partition wall do? A partition wall can divide a room into two rooms. So if you wanted an extra bedroom, you could just place a partition wall and then you will have two bedrooms. The function of a partition wall is pretty simple. It's separating one space into one or multiple spaces. But sometimes you can't just separate the spaces, you also have to think about cancelling the noise between the spaces. If you take bedrooms, for example, you also want to make sure that you have the privacy between the bedrooms. You can do this by making your separating wall, uh, your partition wall, uh, thicker, and then you can fit more isolation inside the wall, and this will make the noise cancellation between the two rooms much greater. And if you want to make a room bigger and you're 100% certain that it's only a partition wall, you could always just remove the wall again. This is another simple drawing of a house. Through the middle we have placed a load bearing wall. These are the joists of the first floor and they are running perpendicular to the wall. This is often how you can locate a load bearing wall. In this particular case, this wall has to carry the first floor. The loads are the dead loads and the imposed loads. The dead loads are all the permanent loads that are on the first floor and the imposed loads are the variant loads, for example, when people walk on the first floor. This is why the load bearing wall secures the structure of the house. As I mentioned, a load bearing wall secures the structure of your house. This is why you must never remove a load bearing wall. But there are other options. You could place a load bearing beam to create an opening. But if you're inexperienced, you shouldn't do this yourself. You should hire a professional, because if it isn't done properly, it could cause great damage to your house. At last, I wanted to share three ways so you can locate load bearing walls in your house. The first thing is, if you have the blueprints to your house, the wall, load bearing walls should be marked on your blueprints. The second step is that you could try to analyze yourself if you feel confident about it. And the last step is the most expensive one, and that's just to hire a professional. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions on future content, please leave a comment in the comment section below.